Chris and I stuck to one of our pre-election pledges and put a climate and ecological emergency motion before council today and I'm delighted to say that it passed um, overwhelmingly. There was a lot of interesting debate but the main thing is passed but now the real work starts. We've passed the motion, we've now got to do the work. We're both really excited that this has passed. Um, we have got what we think are really, really achievable targets to meet by 2030, which doesn't mean we're going to be putting this back. There's going to be action from this year going onwards in the future. We've got um, plans already in place with officers to put a timetable in where we can manage and quantify what we're going to be doing each year and we're going to be monitoring this and showing the achievements we make and how much carbon we're actually saving until we do hit zero carbon and not just this as well as part of the motion we have managed to get um, a citizens assembly approved as well so we will have public scrutiny throughout the entirety of this climate and ecological emergency and we're just delighted to have managed to get this through so quickly and deliver on one of our major campaign promises. Over a hundred councils up and down the country have declared a climate emergency and it is brilliant that BCP Council has joined that list and we will be taking action and we will be taking this seriously as we all need to do. Um, we're also going to be taking this opportunity to show leadership as well throughout Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole and as the council moves towards zero carbon we want to take the local businesses and residents with us as well until we can achieve complete carbon neutrality throughout Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole.